Hey, 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 y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Hope that everybody's doing well. The sunlight is bright, y'all, in St. Louis this morning. But I hope, oh, Lord, but I hope y'all doing well this morning. Um, of course, this is your life coach, your girl, Tanetta Clay. And I want to welcome y'all to this video. I know this video is a car chronicles, I guess I put it that way, but I'm not sure what I'm going to be talking to y'all about this morning. Um, but of course, I'm here to always, of course, inspire and to inspire you to, of course, think bigger and to empower you to become who you are. So like I said, I want to welcome you out to this video. I hope that everybody has had a great weekend. Uh, my weekend was okay. I didn't really do much. So I mean, I guess I really can't say what, whether it was a good weekend or not. It was just a weekend. I guess I say that. Um, but I was, of course, going through clothes yesterday. Um, having me like a little mini fashion show, I guess you could say. Um, back and forth in the mirror, trying things on that I've had. My, um, my bins and my closet and stuff like that. Just trying things on to see what fits. I guess I put it that way. And I guess that's what I can talk about this morning, actually. Try thing, uh, things on and see what fits. Because um, I, I did a video. I don't know if you all saw the workshop Sunday yesterday. But I was talking about um, uh, pivoting, making a change in life and that kind of thing. And one of the things, one of the ways that I was talking about that you can, of course, pivot and the mindset that you, that you have to have and that kind of thing. One of the things I was talking about was actually talking about um, trying different things out. And that's why, of course, I'll just go ahead and do that video about that this morning. Like I said, try different things on and see what fits. I know I talked about that a little bit yesterday. I didn't expand on it much, but I did talk about it some yesterday. And what that means to me when I'm thinking about, of course, life changes, whether it's pivoting or not. It could be any kind of life, which a pivot to me is life change. But um, any kind of changes that you ever, I guess, that you have in life, whether it's a new kid, um, a marriage, a divorce, a separation, you go into high school, you go into college, you go into your first job, any of those things, all those things are changes and pivots in our life that causes us to do something different. We have to put on, on a different hat, or I guess clothes per se, in order to of course carry out that particular mission. And I just wanna make sure that I remind y'all of that this morning. Cause there is no life change. There are some that may be of course small, that may be kind of simple, that may not take much, but the majority of them, especially if they're life changes that, of course, that's going to change your trajectory in life or change your outlook on life, create some, some type of transformation in life, they will be more in-depth. And it will take a little while for you to, of course, accomplish that. Even if it's for the rest of your life, you're doing the same thing just to stay on the same track. Just keep that in mind, y'all. And that's why, of course, I'm going to call this video, like I said, trying different things on and seeing what, what fits. Cause like I said, I know we can sometimes try all these things because I've tried many of things, whether it's in life, whether it's in business, whether it was going to school, any, I've tried a whole lot of things, trust me. Um, and even, even with, with, with relationships and people and a divorce and all these types of things. But of course we don't know what we want or how we want until we start trying different things to figure out what's going to fit us. Like I said yesterday, and I hope that you all take your, it should be the video before this one to take some time and check out that video yesterday about the life pivot because like i said yesterday you're going to have to try out life is all about um trial and error there's no blueprint in life there's no blueprint for business now there may be people who've done it before you that has been successful yes that's always going to be it does not mean that you can probably use the same blueprint majority of the time they have no idea what their exact blueprint was either they tried a whole bunch of different shit and they, and they something worked that's usually how that happens and that happens a lot, of course, in business, and it happens in life as well. We just have to figure out what it is that we that, that we want, what it is that we want to become, and then go ahead and start working in that area, I guess I put it that way. I'm having to, well, I know there's a pivot I need to make, I guess I put it that way as well. Um, a change in life, that kind of thing, in business as well. Um, a different plan about business, I guess I'd say that. And then I'm trying to figure out how to, of course, shift to those things. To me, it feels like I know I'm having a negative mindset, but it feels like I'm not going to be successful at it or I don't have enough information. My partner told me this morning, just go ahead and start and God will follow you. And I, and I know I've said that before about myself as well, but with this, I'm just like, oh my God, what in the world am I supposed to be doing? Because I'm not sure how to even get started, what to even say. I guess I put it that way. And I'll figure that out. I'll get started sometime this week. I'm pretty sure of that. And I'll figure out some things to, to get started saying what I have no idea yet, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to try a lot of things as well and figure out what's going to fit with the new thing I'm trying to create. And like I said, that's all we can do. I'm going to have to shift, of course, the person that I'm, I'm becoming and the person that I am to, of course, fit this new thing as well. 
there's nothing in life that we're going to be able to remain the same person the whole entire time. Everybody, I think I was in psychology today. I want to say they said every 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 90 days people change, whether it's something that's of course like physical appearance, emotional behavior, all those types of things, or something that we're, that we're doing, or something that we're, that we're being creative with. We always change. And they said every, every 90 days. And I know I've seen some that was six months, but I believe that I the um, the, the, the psychology today in, in those 90 days, those three months. So I can definitely attest to that as well. A lot of times in my life, a lot of things always change. It seems like anyway. And definitely change is inevitable for all of us. Regardless as to whether you want to want to try to control the change. You can do that all you want. Because I used to try to control every single thing there was in my life. I'm getting better at that. I can, I can tell you that over the last several years. But I, of course, still try to control some things. Try to figure out what I'm going to do. And try to make things the best way I can. And um, so I won't have any kind of failures or any kind of, of issues come up. But, of course, we can't protect ourselves from that all the time. Sometimes, and a lot of time, I'm going to say sometimes, but all the time, we always need those failures, those setbacks to help us grow. I didn't used to see it like that at all. Back in the day, back when I was growing up, I didn't see that it, that way at all. I used to see setbacks, failures as me not doing something right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. And I've actually said those things to myself in the past as well. I don't know what I'm doing. This ain't for me. I will never, this is, ain't never going to work. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who said these things to themselves as well. But I know definitely I've said those things too. Man, I've been recently, but that's okay. But I have said them, um, at least in the last few months, I can tell you that. Oh, getting upset, getting frustrated over things and that kind of thing. That's what I, we all, not, not just me, but I'm sure there are a lot, a lot of humans, at least 99% of us, resort to the negative first without looking at the positive first. And like I said, I know I'm telling you all that too. That's one thing I'm working on as well, constantly, every single day. I have to. Just like I'm telling you all, you don't have to. You're going to lead your life whatever kind of way you want to lead it. But that's how I'm trying to lead my life, is making sure the positive, as much as I can, comes up first. And that whenever I hear something negative or start, start to say something negative about myself and that kind of thing, making sure that I interject, I stop, and, put, and eject some kind of positive in there. To, I guess to break that particular thought pattern. And like I said, when it comes to life, that's what a lot of us have to do when it comes to things like that. And that's part of trying things on and seeing what fits. Like I said, we're going to have failures. I know that already. Nothing is going to be perfect. I know that God gives us those things. I forgot how it goes. I think it goes something like God doesn't give you more than you can handle. It goes something like that. Uh, meaning that God doesn't put so, too much on you that you can't handle. All the things things that God sends your way, that is things that he knows that you can handle and things that he knows that you can problem solve and work through, I guess I put it that way, is how I see that. And like I said, you're going to be doing a lot of that when you're trying to, of course, create that change and trying to see what's going to fit in your life. It's trial and error. And of course, a lot of tribulations as well, I'm sure. And a lot of life lessons in those things, too. I can tell you that. Y'all, I'm getting on the highway. That's why I'm getting a little bit more quiet. Trying to focus on driving, too. Trying to get my butt on the highway. Uh -oh. Okay, y'all. Y'all see us, don't you? You can't go no farther, though. We run, run into each other. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, now I'm in the lane. I need to go, y'all. All right, I'm on the highway safely, y'all. <laughs> And of course, I'm going to talk to y'all all the way out there, as I always do. I'm actually heading to Walmart this morning, y'all. Um, I think I went last last week to the Walmart, a day or two or something like that. But I'm heading to Walmart because I don't have any lunch and I need to get some bananas too. And I got to get some other food later on today. So I'm making some um, some meatless uh, pita sandwiches today. So that should be awesome. Of course, I've had, veg I love veggie sandwiches and stuff like that. Okay, all this rocks and this truck in front of me. So I'm, of course, uh, making some of those tonight for dinner. So I have a whole list of things i got to pick up at the stove. And I will pick those things up. I may not pick them up this morning at Walmart, but I'll pick them up tonight when I go to Aldi. So I got my little Aldi bags in the back of the car ready to go, y'all. <laughs> for the first time in forever, because I always forget those bags. I don't know if any of y'all out there like me always forgetting those bags to go to the grocery store. You have to end up buying more bags or getting boxes or something. It must stop, y'all. The craziness must stop. <laughs> I guess I can say that. But let me get back to the topic, y'all. 
trying things on and seeing what fits. Like I said, that's going to be a life lesson that you must learn and that I have learned as well. And I'm still learning with certain things too. Because I don't want to hear the truth about things sometimes. And I'm sure that y'all, I'm sure you or whoever else out there listening, I'm sure y'all feel the same way too with different things. You may not want to hear the truth in that moment. But at some point, the truth will come and it's going to set you free. I can tell you that. I've had that happen numerous times. But with this last thing about, whoa, what's going on? This person's about to run into the back of my... These people, they fucking crazy. Sorry, y'all, for the cursing, but I'm like, these people just fucking speed. They see people slowing down. Common sense will tell you just to stop. They're about to hit me in the back of the car. Lord have mercy. Crazy folks. You see red light, stop. These folks are so silly. Sorry about that, y'all. Lord have mercy. Person's about to... Bring me to the back of my car for no reason because they ain't paying attention. Golly. Back to the trying things on to see what fits. My goodness. <laughs> Got me all off topic. I'm like, Lord, about to kill me this morning. Jesus. But like I said, a lot of trial and error is going to be it throughout life, y'all. There's one thing that you always have to remember. Like I said, there's one thing that I have to constantly tell myself, too. Even when I'm baking, because some of y'all know I love to bake and make cookies and do all these things. I know that because sometimes my stuff, to me, it comes out looking crazy. I'm like, this is not going to work. <laughs> but it still may taste good. Of course, it always tastes good. But I'm very hard on myself. I'm like, I, I, I need to see this come out right and that, that kind of thing. I'm learning to, of course, loosen those reins, I guess I put it that way. Because I know sometimes I want to make stuff and bake stuff and do all these things. And it's not going to look immaculate like those pictures you may see on online that folks may take or steal. I'm not sure which one. But um, but like I said, they have the perfect pictures, I guess I put it that way. Like I said, a lot of times things will not come out that way. It takes a lot of trial and error for you to get, especially when it comes to baking. But you get that way. The same thing in life. It takes a lot of trial and error, y'all. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't, don't let nobody tell you that it's wrong to... To fail is not a good thing to fail. That you're a loser because you failed. Anything like that. Just remember that everybody has failed. And if somebody hasn't failed and somebody's telling you that, they haven't taken any chances in their life at all. And they ain't doing shit with their life. I can tell you that already. By whatever's coming out their mouth. Because those folks who haven't done anything in their life and ain't making any moves even move forward, they're the ones who are going to tell you stuff like that. That you're a failure because you fail. You ain't going to never have nothing right. And I bet you they haven't done anything in their life to do anything with. They don't have anything most times either. At least 99% of the times. Because all the folks that have told me that, 100% of the time actually, they, they weren't even doing anything in their own lives to make any kind of changes to, to improve it, to do anything. So don't let nobody tell you that. Like I said, I've had folks telling me that. Not everybody, but I mean, I've had a few people in my life, of course, telling me stuff like that. A teacher was, was one of those people too. Back when I was in middle school. Actually, back in middle school, actually. I'm like, okay, teachers are supposed to tell you that, but I'm like, okay. It's fine. Because I knew what I was going to answer to. I may have not known the whole Janetta back in middle school, no. But of course, I knew that whatever somebody called me, I, I didn't have to answer to those things. I knew that back then, too. But you're not going to tell me who I am. And I already know who I'm who I'm trying to be, I guess I put it that way. I know I'm intelligent. I know You wanna get over, lady? Okay, now y'all back. Y'all back, y'all back. My phone was saying I was reconnected. I don't know what the heck was going on, y'all. This happened the other day too when I was coming out in this area, the same area back there. It seemed like I have no signal at all. Very strange. But like I said, y'all, with life, make sure that y'all trying everything that you can to see what fits. Like I say, a lot of folks that we, of course, follow their success and that kind of thing. Some of them may say they have a blueprint. I'm sure some of them do have steps that they took. But a lot of times they, of course, kept trying, kept trying, and kept trying until something finally, found, finally fit what they were trying to do. I'm sure of that. But that's how anything works. But let's keep that in, your, in the back of your mind whenever you're doing anything. Whenever you're making any kind of life pivot, anything along those lines, y'all. Like I said, I am going to Walmart, so I'm getting off at the exit now. So I won't be on her for that much longer. I just want to make sure y'all know. But I do want to make sure that y'all know there's going to be a link either in my bio or in the description of this video that's going to take you to 
to my link tree. Some things that I'm, of course, working on. Some um, a Let's Date um, bundle that I have that's on sale right now for 85% off for those couples out there who are looking to date. Or for those single folks who are trying to, of course, get their date, date known. I guess I put it that way as well. But like I said, it's called the Let's Date Bundle. And then I have, of course, um, the free ebook, Where Are You? That can help you, of course, get your foundation set, y'all. I'm talking about um, pivoting in life, making those life changes, those life transitions, and trying things on to see what fits. The ebook is, uh, is, is, is definitely for you. They will walk you through seven different key foundational areas. I don't forget, Lord, I know it's um, self-education, um, spirit, um, spirituality, um, relationships, there's business and um, career, there's finances, there's all those types of things that's on there, y'all. Um, health and fitness that it walks you through to, of course, help you set that foundation for your life. Because without you having a strong foundation, a strong house, to, you cannot build on top of a, a shaky foundation. I hate to be negative, but it's probably not going to work for you if you're building on top of a shaky foundation like that. You have to at least have some kind of foundation set for your life at some point to, in order to figure out where you currently are, what you currently need to do, and I guess what you currently need to do to get where you're going to. That's the kind of foundation I'm talking about. Figuring out where you are. That's why, that's why it's called Where Are You? To figure out where you are and trying to figure out where you're trying to get to and making those goals and plans to get there. That's what the ebook will help you do. That's why I wrote the ebook. That's that's what it's supposed to help you do. That's what it will help you do. Those are some of the steps I well, actually a lot of the steps that I went through. And it's only 10 pages, it's a short read, but it entails a lot of work that you have to do behind that short read. And it will it will it will entail you to journal. Write down these things. Write down the area of health and fitness, where you are, how much you weigh, what's going on, what, what what's your ideal weight, whatever you're trying to do with your life. You have to write those things down. Like um, the Bible says, uh, write the vision and make it plain. You have to write those things down and make it plain to know what, where you're at and what you're trying to do with your life, y'all. It ain't going to just happen because you said so. You got to do some type of work to get there. And that's what I found. A lot of folks are not wanting to do the work. They know what the problems is. I don't even have to tell you the problems, the issues, the challenges, anything. You already know that. But you don't want to go ahead and get started. Some, a lot of times it, 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 it's, it's out of fear. But like I said yesterday, Steve Harvey always says, jump and grow your wings on the way down. A lot of times that's, that, that's what you have to do. Like I said, life is all about that trial and error. A lot of times you have to just jump and grow your wings, like I said, on the way down. And if um, you believe in God or whoever your God is, your higher power, they won't let you fail. And they won't let everything just be a total loss. So I take that back. They won't let everything be a total loss, but you may have some challenges and obstacles and possibly some failures along the way that's teaching you where to go next. Those are always life lessons. I know I said that a little while ago too. They're always life, always life, life lessons. But not a total loss, but you will have some setbacks. I cannot promise everybody that, but it happens in a lot of our um, situations. I guess I put it that way. Those setbacks and those those obstacles help us grow, y'all, to know what not to do next. That's what they're for to show you what not to do next and what not to keep on doing. And what you need to change and, 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 and do different. Y'all, I'm actually pulling up at Walmart. So I want to say thank you for, of course, tuning into this video this morning. This video was, like I said, talking about trying different things on and seeing what fits. When it comes to life and business. When it comes to anything, clothes too. I know I was talking about clothes. <laughs> so with that, y'all, I want to say thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, there's a link in the um, either in the description of this video or in the link in the bio. Go ahead and get that ebook, y'all. Called "Where Are You?" So, the, so that you can start setting your life foundation. So with that, and if you if you need a journal, I have an author's page on there as well, where I have created some journals for you all. So go ahead and grab one of those too, of course. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll see y'all later on. See y'all tomorrow in the next morning video, the Car Chronicle. Take care, y'all. Have a great, a great, great, amazing, blessed rest of your day. Take care, y'all.